Hey, hey, Michael Ostro here. And today I want to bring up an interesting topic. Um, maybe funny, maybe interesting, but I want to talk about the purpose of life. I think everyone has a different way to perceive life. Um, everyone sees it differently. You know, some people have God to believe in. And then there's other people that might not believe in God at all. So for me, I'm one of the people that don't believe in any supernatural powers. Um, and I often hear people come to me and they say, well, then what, what's your purpose in life? Like, wh why does life have any meaning if you don't believe in God? And that makes you think deeply about, okay, well, what is the purpose? If I don't believe in this greater power, if my life isn't forgiving to this greater power, then what is it for? So I spend a lot of time trying to understand what is the purpose of life and whether or not I have an answer, there are some thoughts that I'd like to share. So maybe we look at life uh, and try to see a purpose and that purpose might be, I wanna be happy, right? So everything that we do is just to be happy or it might be to work hard. Like I go out there and I work really hard, I work a hard job and that gives me a sense of purpose. Or it's to be a caregiver or a, you know, a mom or a dad. You really wanna have a family and having that family gives you a sense of purpose in life. So maybe you have a family now or maybe you had a family in the past, uh, not in the past. <laughs> Oh my goodness, maybe there's a family uh, in the future. Um, I guess it could be in the past too, right? So if someone did have a family for a little while um, before maybe a divorce or something like that and they cared and spent all their time with their family, but they ended up losing that family. So it's hard to search for that purpose again or what is the purpose? So maybe our purpose in life can change at different times. Maybe you've lived your whole life uh, wanting a family and you couldn't find that right person to have a family with, so you kind of didn't feel like you had that purpose. You never fulfilled that purpose in life. Or maybe your purpose in life is to help others. So I believe that one of the things that is our purpose in life is trying to find that meaning for our lives. If we're not trying to search for it, if we're not um, looking, then we'll have maybe um, anxiety, stress, depression, I feel like anxiety, stress, and depression come most when we're just looking at ourselves. When the only thing that we care about is what's going on with us. My life is having these troubles. These things are going wrong in my life. This job is terrible. These people at work are terrible. The thing I did this morning is terrible. When you start thinking about these things, you're going to have higher anxiety, higher stress, higher uh, risk for depression. These things are going to occur because you're only thinking about yourself. Now, when you place yourself to help others. If you're trying to give to others, whether that's time, energy, you're going to an old folks home and helping out, or you're doing anything that you can to just help out. Maybe someone comes to you in, in great need and you help them figure out a solution to this problem. And I'm not saying that as in like, anytime someone comes to you, you go like, all right, let's figure out how exactly you can fix this. No, but like, you're there for that person. And that could make you feel better by giving to that person. Now, if you're doing that same exact thing every single day, that probably gets very tiresome. But if you are, giving yourself to others. If you're going uh, to church on Sundays and you're giving extra time to people, um, you're going uh, volunteer for extracurricular activities, you're doing more in the community, you're doing things outside of just your typical, then you are giving and you'll put your mind more on others than you will just on yourself. This will bring tremendous amounts of joy. We are social creatures by nature. So the more time we spend with people, the more time we are actively in communication with people, the, the better that will feel. The, like these times of like deep depression or these times where you uh, have all the stress and anxiety, it is likely a time where you're not um, mentally connecting with people that you would like to connect with. It might be a time when you're just at home, just by yourself for a lot of time. Maybe, you know, right now the quarantine is going on and a lot of people are home by themselves. Uh, and that can cause stress, anxiety, and depression, just if you're not having communications with people. Or if you give someone a call and the whole time all they do is talk about themselves, they don't wanna to listen to you at all. You'll leave that call feeling even more anxious or maybe uh, stressed out. But if you can have a call with someone and they genuinely care about each other, someone asks questions, you ask questions, you're genuinely caring about each other, that's a good conversation. That will make you feel great afterwards. So when you put yourself and care about someone else, then you'll feel a lot better. So if you were the person that you know calls someone, all you do is talk about yourself. And I, I know I can say this because I think uh, in the past I have been that person that would just talk about myself for a long time. And maybe there were times I was happy, but I found it wasn't lasting happiness because I needed it again. 
But if you are that person that calls and just talks all the time now, try to switch that around and try to care about the other person. You both care about each other. Wow, that'll change a lot. And that can make you feel incredible. So I know I, I just spent some time talking about like stress, anxiety, depression. Um, but when you have those things, it makes life a little bit more difficult. Um, and I'm not saying by any means that uh, life is easy. I, you know, life can be as difficult as you make it. But I like the term uh, of what insanity is. And insanity is doing the same thing repeatedly, e expecting different results, but you're getting the same thing. So insanity is literally doing the same exact thing and expecting different results. Because if you do the same thing, you're going to keep getting the same exact thing out of it. So if you for example, are someone that complains about certain things, or maybe you don't complain, but maybe there are things that are going very difficult in your life right now. Well, you're insane because you're not changing them because, because you're doing the same thing again. And let me just say that we're all crazy or insane in our own ways because there's things that we don't realize that we're doing repeatedly and we're upset about it. We just, we just can't see it. Our mind is just not open to it. But if we can see that there is something that we have had negative uh, thoughts about often and it keeps repeating itself then we must seek change in that so one thing I, like i was saying before i see a lot of purpose and, and meaning in my life by searching for meaning and purpose so i'm out there looking i like change a lot so you know maybe i'm insane in my own ways but i'm searching for change i'm searching for ways to keep improving my life and bettering my life and i'm not just staying in one small knit thing that i'm complaining or i'm upset about because doing that i don't think is a good life but maybe some people can have a good life by staying in that little, uh, you know, whatever mindset they are. You know, maybe they're not complaining. Maybe they, maybe they are happy. And everyone has their own purpose to life, um, which I think is really important. Having your own meaning or having your own purpose. And it's okay to differ from other people. So, uh, yes, I am reading some notes right here. Um, cause I typed out a bunch of stuff that just thoughts that were going through my head. And I really like, I made this video just to kind of put some thoughts out there. I have no idea what anyone's going to think about this. Um, because I believe a lot of these thoughts that I have differ from, from many others, though maybe it's the same. And I love chatting with people, whether their thought process differs or whether it agrees and our minds can grow off of each other. Like having a collaborative conversation where we're both growing our minds is incredible. Oh, it's one of the best things in life. So in my life, I'm constantly seeking purpose. Um, it gives me joy. It gives me meaning. It gives me a purpose. It get, <clears throat> gives me a reason to wake up in the mornings. And I think nobody can answer your meaning for life. You have to answer this yourself. You can have others guide you and help show you. You can choose your own path and you can do it by holding hands with another. But you have to seek the path that you want on life. And it's okay if that changes. You don't have to be stubborn and stay on the same path. I believe there's one thing that'll be consistent in my entire life, and that one thing is change. And I believe that I will become a different person every so odd years, and I will be okay with that. And it, whoever you know I have in my life at any given time, you know, hopefully is okay with that. And if that person is growing and changing too, maybe we can grow and change together. So, if you found this interesting, or even you know, if you listen this whole day, I'm very curious. Like, what what do you find? is your meaning or your purpose in life. And no matter what it is, it's okay to have that meaning or that purpose. Um, it's okay to think through those thoughts. And I'm, I'm curious um, if you'd like to share with me, because I share with you a lot of my meaning and purpose is just searching and learning and growing. Um, anyway, thanks for uh, listening to this. Obviously, this is my YouTube channel. Maybe I'll be more consistent with these videos. If you do like it, you do want me to keep doing stuff like this and keep you know, putting out some of these thoughts and how I perceive the world and share with you and maybe hear some of your thoughts back, please like and subscribe to this channel. That will let me know that this is good content and I'll create some more of it. Anyway, thanks for listening and I'll talk to you later. Cheers.